Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in today's tutorial on Python Fire, we're trying to see how to work with the interactive mode. So let's see how to work with it. So to work with it, just go with this particular format. So I'll create a simple function by custom cli.py. Right now, let's see how to work with this. So it's going to be something simple. So to make it Python Fire, then let's create a simple function of hello as we have been using. Then I'll pass in my name. Then I'll pass in a dos. A simple greeting with hello. Something like that. Okay, so this is something very simple. Now here I can just supply or print whatever thing I want to do. So let's call it as return. Then what am I returning? I'm returning hello. Then how are you? Hello, your name. Then how are you? Right, something like that. Dot format. Then the name. Something very simple. Okay. Then I'll put zero here because I don't want it to make mistakes. Then I'll just go with if main to convert into CLI. So fire. Dot fire. Perfect. Right. That is very simple. So let's run it and see. So Python. My custom CLI. Help. The fact is going to tell us that when you convert the entire stuff into a CLI, give us the usage how to use it. Right? It's very interesting. So the type is a dictionary, the string form, the file name, the length. Right? So now let's see how to run it. So this is how to run this particular function. So I'll just go with my hello. Then let's give it as a name like Sarah. So hello Sarah, how are you, Sarah? Right? Something very simple. So in case I want to go in an interactive mode. And just go with this same format. So let's see how to work with the interactive mode up here. And just go with the interactive, right? Perfect. So fire us a starting Python repo with the following object. So this is very, very interesting. So this is the object, right? These are the components. So we have the hello, which is referred to this particular function. Then we have the name of the file itself, right? And then the results. And then the trees, right? So the result is the result of the output that's going to come. So this how to get the result. Remember, I called this here. I called something here, right? This is the function I call from the CLI. So in case I want to get that particular result, that's going to be used the result. Then we also have the hello function itself. In case I want to use the function again inside my interactive mode, and also have the trees to trace the entire stuff. So now let's see how to do that. So if I go with print my result. Automatically it's going to automatically it's going to detect that the results here that I mean, which I'm not defined, is referring to the result of this particular CLI. Right. So that is why it gives us the as part of the object. So let's run it. So hello Sarah, how are you? Very, very interesting, very simple and very nice. The same way, in case I want to run another function, I just go with hello. Right? Then I'll pass in whatever I started. So let's say hello my Perfect. So it's automatically going to detect the function from here and apply it to a particular CLR and then keep it interactive. So in case I want to check for the trace, let me do the normal simple trace. Then see that it's giving us this, so I can just print it here as trace. I think it's also going to give me the same stuff. Right, so this is the initial component. The access property is hello, that is a function. And then the particular file. So it is called, it's called a routine hello, that is a function from this particular file. With the line three, very very interesting, very very nice. So that is one of the ways of working with this particular package. Okay, perfect. So the other thing I can can also do is that I can also check for the documentation, right, of this hello. So you realize that there was a documentation here for the hello. So you can also check it here with this. So it's going to be the hello, right? Then we just go with the dot, then dot. So if I go with this, so now that need to print this our documentation, which was here. very very interesting. So in case you have different functions, you can actually use this option to see the particular documentation. So to edit the entire stuff, I just go with let's create something simple. So we'll go back. So in case you want to edit it, just go with the normal create, right? To be able to create it. So that's create the entire stuff. 
that's how to work with this particular function the interactive mode so the most important thing is that you're just going to call the dash dash interactive and then to give you the option of doing all that we did previously here so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section below and in case you need help in cleaning your data set you can also check the links below for more and please don't forget to subscribe and share stay blessed